So today we are going to practice OSCE for spontaneous vagina delivery. For that, we have a box that represents a pregnant woman and this is the baby and this is the umbilical cord. In some cases, when the vagina delivery is kind of difficult, we have to perform episiotomy and that is done only when we are able to see the fetal head for about 3 to 4 centimeters in diameter. For episiotomy, we have to put our two fingers between the perineum and the fetal head and between them we have to run our scissors but we have to go away from the rectum but downwards uh, vertically or laterally <laughs> as you can see the fetal head is visible now so this is the time to perform the rigid maneuver for that we should use a sterile towel and we should apply pressure towards the chin of the baby now we should use our other hand to apply pressure on the occiput of the baby to get a good pressure so that baby can come out. Okay. Now we should use both of our hands to hold the baby's head from the temporal area and try to pull it out. Now we should pull the baby in that way so the anterior shoulder comes out first. And as soon as you can see the anterior shoulder coming out, you should grab baby's head and pull it upward so the posterior shoulder can can come out as well now when the shoulders are out grab the ankles of the baby from the other hand and pull the baby out and as soon as the baby is delivered you are supposed to put it over the mother with the sterile towel and try to clean and dry the baby as far as the baby is stable check for the pulsation in the umbilical cord before the clamping since there is no pulsation in the umbilical cord it's time for clamping for that uh, we should clamp 2 cm from the baby and 5 cm from the base now it's time to cut the cord with a sterile scissors after the cord is clamped and cut there are signs that can show us the placenta is separated from the womb and those signs are gush of blood, lengthening of cord, the uterus is raised in abdomen and the uterus becomes globular that is called calcan signs and when you will find those signs pull the placenta out and it will come out with a gush of blood. Check the uterus for any abnormality and check if all the three vessels looks fine. Along with the three vessels, check for any infarcts or cortilagens present in the placenta. Now after the delivery, check the mother's vagina for any laceration and also the uterus is contracting or not by applying pressure on mother's abdomen. This is the OSCE for normal spontaneous vaginal delivery. If you want to see more OSCE and PUBG videos, subscribe to my channel. Oh, contact me, gynecologist, Dr. Tavish, Pandit. Thank you.